Hey everybody, I'm here today with a video of myself taking apart a cordless hedge trimmer. In this video, we will be looking inside of this cordless hedge trimmer. Let's get right into the video. I actually received this old cordless hedge trimmer. Um, the old homeowners of the house that my wife and kids and I just bought recently left us with this hedge trimmer. I actually already have a great hedge trimmer. I don't need this one anymore. So I figured that I would take it apart for the video. Instead of just throwing it away or giving it away, let's take it apart. Let's look inside of it. Let's figure out what's going on inside of here. So what I did was I obviously removed the guard for the actual hedge trimming portion. I removed the leaf guard that sort of sat right over here, okay? I removed these two caps that went in here where the handle is. And then I removed a whole bunch of screws that are on one side. Now this is very common when you wanna take something apart. Most likely if it's a simplistic design like this, one side is gonna have all of the screws and they're gonna screw into the other side. So I've taken out all of the screws as far as I know. It should come apart. So there's one more screw in here that I completely loosened. Um, it's not actually like coming out of there, but I completely loosened it. So we should be good to go. All right, let's try and remove it. Okay, so I'm gonna take off this part. Check this out. The inner workings of a hedge trimmer, pretty cool. Now, like I said, this is a cordless hedge trimmer. This is a battery operated hedge trimmer, okay? I'm gonna try and keep it um, as organized as possible. So I'm gonna bring it closer to the camera. Hopefully it doesn't just completely fall apart. Okay, as you can see right there, that's actually what it looks like inside. So you have your handle right here, okay? You have your trigger right here, and your battery insert goes over here. So you'd pop your battery in over there, okay? Then if you take a look, you have your wires here. So that battery will send power up to the actual power switch here. And this power switch is connected to here and it determines, it tells it whether the circuit is complete or open, whether it's closed or open. If your circuit is closed, that means power is flowing through, it's gonna start. If your circuit is open, if, you, if the power switch is off basically, that means that it's not gonna start, okay? Very simple and straightforward. Um, there's not much more to it. If the circuit is if the circuit is closed, it's going to start and work. If the circuit is open, it's uh, it's 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 not going to work. When a circuit is closed, the power can flow through continually, which means it's it's going to work. It's on. When a circuit is open, the power gets stopped because it's like an open door, um, kind of. It's like an open roadway, like a gap in a roadway. Okay. Um, over here, it looks like you have the motor. Okay, and this is the motor that goes and turns back and forth and down here, very, very cool. There's actually a little rotation piece right over here. Hopefully you can see that right there. Little rotation piece, because when you use a hedge trim, I believe it goes back and forth. So I'm assuming that this motor drives this piece back and forth continually, which is pretty cool. There's a swing arm over there, it looks like. Pretty interesting design, I mean, overall, Really, really cool and simple design. Um, I'm not gonna put this back together. Originally, I was like, maybe I could put it back together and then uh, and then I can salvage it, give it to somebody, like give it to a family member or a friend that needs a hedge trimmer. But I can't find the battery for this. Um, so, uh, you know, I can't find the battery for this and I definitely can't find any charger in here yet. The garage is still a mess, um, but so I'm gonna end up uh, discarding of it appropriately. But that's it, I'm gonna basically end up tossing it, okay, in the appropriate way uh, that is safe and good for the environment. And that's it, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video of myself taking apart a cordless hedge trimmer. Uh, if you like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.